Hi guys, so this is not one of my normal videos. This video is for anybody who is using the Corsair Scimitar mouse and is having issues with their side buttons seemingly stopping from working whilst playing a game for no apparent reason. This has been happening to me on a daily basis for a while now and it's extremely annoying. The game I mainly use the mouse for is the MMO World of Warcraft. So after a while of changing things around, I seem to have fixed the problem, at least for myself, as this has not happened to me since I've made these changes, which is now almost one week as of making this video. The problem seems to come from how you have your key binding set up. So let's go through what I did to fix this problem for me. So first of all, open up your Corsair Utility Engine icon that should be on your desktop. You should be presented with a screen like this. Now first you need to check that your mouse is running the latest software. Boring I know, but you really do need to make sure. If you want to move right to the fix, the timestamp is in the description box below. So first click onto the picture of your mouse button on the top of your screen, where it has the name of your mouse as well. You should then see a screen similar to this one. The screen may look different if you are not running the latest software. Click onto the cog icon at the top of the screen. You should see a picture of your mouse with an arrow pointing down. If you hover your mouse over it, it should say Open Firmware Update. The check for update in the bottom right hand corner of your screen did not work for me for some reason, so be warned if you use that option. So click onto the arrow pointing down and select Update. It will either download the latest version or tell you that you are running the current software. Either way, we are now able to hopefully move on to the fix. Now click onto the picture of your mouse button once again and you should now have this screen. Now click onto the actions option and you should be presented with a screen like this. I have nothing listed under the actions as I removed them all for the purpose of this video. But if you have anything that says macro then you're probably having the same issue that I was. So what we need to do first is click onto the plus icon. This will allow us to create a new action. You should then be presented with a screen like this. So first we want to select the button we want to bind on the mouse. So simply left click on the appropriate button on the picture of the mouse in front of you. In my case it's the number 1. The picture will slightly change, showing you that it has been selected. Now in the drop down box that says macro, click onto it and select the option A B Remap Key. Then, the first smaller drop down box below, select Keystroke. Highlight the empty Keystroke box by left clicking on it with your mouse and type in the number 1 or whatever your preference is. Then to the right of the Remap Key drop down box, simply name the setting. So in my case, I've called it Button 1. Then click the Save option to the right. Now left click on the icon of the folder with the arrow on it and save this to your library. Do not forget to do this. This is so it remembers your settings. You now need to repeat the process for every button you wish to keybind. So I'll quickly do another. Click on the plus icon, highlight the button you wish to bind. This time it will be number 2. Change the drop down box to AB Remap Key. Change the key function drop down box to Keystroke. Click into the Keystroke box and type the number 2 or whatever your preference is. Name the setting to the right of the Remap Key drop down box. Save the setting, then click Save to Library. Do this until you have bound all of the buttons you need. Now before you log into your game, click onto the View Library folder, the one without the arrow on it, just to make sure all of your bindings are in there. If so, exit the library and log into your game. It should now play as normal, and fingers crossed the problem won't reoccur. Like I said, it's been almost one week since I did this and I've not had it happen since. Prior to that, it was an everyday occurrence. Anyway guys, I hope this helped at least some people. All the best and I'll see you later.